soybeans, rich in proteins, fiber, and oil. They are helpful in preventing kwashiorkor, osteoporosis, and cardiovascular problems. Preparing it is easy. First, rinse the beans. Then, soak them in the water overnight for eight hours or more in a cool place. To improve the taste, dip the beans in boiling water for 30 seconds and use the cotton cloth. There are many ways to grind the beans. For example, a stone, or a manual grinder, or a blender. This paste can be added directly into boiling water with maize or cornmeal to make pop or ugali. Another option is a West African dish called puff. Mix the soil paste with an egg, some flour, baking powder and sugar to taste. in spoonfuls.
crunchy outside and puffed inside. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Soil paste can also be added to stew, sauces, bread, or whatever you like. In Asia, we often use a blender to make soy milk. After soaking the beans overnight, we blend them with water. this into a cloth and strain out the milk. solids can be blended with water and strained again. The leftovers are still very nutritious, can be added in your favourite dishes. Boil the milk for 5 minutes. If you want, you can add sugar, vanilla, or other flavors. Another option is to roast the beans. Roast the beans for about 15 minutes. Keep stirring them to avoid burning. Some people use sand to prevent charring. Carefully remove the sand from the beans. Roasted soybeans can be eaten as they are. They can also be ground into soil flour. You can use a stone or a manual grinder or an electric mill. Soil flour is used in a variety of baking and cooking. It not only adds lots of proteins, it also improves the taste and the texture. If you only have GMO soybeans, you can also roast them and grind them into soya flour. Mix it with ground eggshells and use it as a chicken feed. In a larger community, Approach your local government to supply soybean grinders and steaming equipment or you can contact your local Japanese embassy. There are many ways to prepare and enjoy this affordable source of protein. Try it out and share your results in the comments below.